Big Hitter Collectibles, Bubblegum and Sports Cards. What's going on, my friend? Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. You are the first. This is a sponsored break. So I've got two boxes here for a buddy of mine, but he said that I could open them on my channel, which I was pretty excited about. What's up, JDLS? How you doing, man? It's good to see you. He may have to come back and just watch the replay when it's done, which is okay. But anyways, I had three boxes that I opened myself, three boxes that were absolutely horrible. I mean, they were the worst boxes I had ever opened. I got terrible autographs out of them. And so we had split this case. He got the odd numbers and I got the even numbers. So we're going to see if his side was any better. So I'm going to give him one box to open. I'm going to open his other two. Um, one autograph, two relic cards. But what we're really hunting for is the Lewis Robert SSP. <clears throat> you guys know anything else in this product that's super decent? I was able to pull the Cal Ripken SSP. I actually sold that on eBay today for 125 bucks. So... Uh, that wasn't terrible. That was a pretty nice little pull. The SSPs seem to be pretty good. But I'm not sure what else in this product is solid. Uh, my silver packs had no autographs in them. You do get this one exclusive patch card that's cloth. Um, I was able to pull a Gavin Lux out of one of them, which wasn't terrible. And on one of my silver packs, I did get a... Uh, who did I get? Bo Bichette, number to 75, so a purple Bo Bichette, but not autographed. However, the silver packs I've had extremely good luck with in the past. The best pull I ever had from a silver pack. Let me see if I can find that card real quick. You guys have probably seen it before. No, it's not there. I'm not sure where I have it. But it is a Fernando... Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. Ha! So this was from last year's update. Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph uh, number to five. Three of five. And it did come back a gem mint 10. Now the auto's an eight, so I've been trying to figure out if I like send it back in and have it graded without the auto grade. You think that would make the resale better on it? What you guys' thoughts? That might be my my inclination. But let's get through these. I'm not going to linger on any of these cards for too long, but <clears throat> try to get right to the good stuff there at the end. Acuna, that's a nice one. Is everything in sync, by the way? Is my voice, music, picture all in sync? Mike Trout. I like that they throw Mike Trouts in here. There's a Mike Trout in like every product. Hey dogs. You guys freaking out over there, huh? These dogs have been playing together for hours upon hours. How's everybody weekend? I uh, had to watch the Broncos struggle through their terrible game earlier today. Cole Calhoun, we do have a card flipped around. It's a uh, David Wright, number to 50. All right. So a gold border David Wright of the 85 design. That may be the lowest numbering I've found of a card yet. So David right there, that's a nice one, Matt. Congratulations. Where are my top loaders? Put them within arm's reach. All right, thank you, JDLS. Appreciate it, brother. All right, so David Wright. <clears throat> it's our first numbered pull of the night. A foil card here. Rainbow foil, we have... I, I never know how to say this name. <laughs> <laughs> Woj Cheschowski. Woj Cheschowski. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Lewis Brinson, Derek Jeter, and a Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Nice inserts because they have these all these prospects in here, which is pretty cool. 
been working all weekend. Been driving all weekend or what, J.D. Lewis? Julio Tehran. Pomeranz. He really switched his season around. Aquino. I really hope he bounces back at some point. But he is an old rookie. Next year he won't be a rookie, obviously. But he is not young. Tommy Pham. I really uh, think Tommy Pham is kind of underrated. Ortiz. Cranky. Lambert Tinoco, he is a Rockies fan, my buddy, so he's going to get plenty of Rockies here, that's for sure. There's a Bo Bichette, rookie debut. Set that one aside to get sleeved, and this is going to be your first hit, Mark Teixeira with the Derek Jeter patch. I don't like these manufactured patches at all, and I'm a little disappointed that Topps put these in here, man. Like, why would Topps put manufactured patches in such an expensive product? Like, and it's not terribly expensive, the prices. There's Joe Adele, that's a nice one. The prices on this are not going to hold up. They're always going to be quite a bit cheaper than <clears throat> prices of a lot of stuff. Uh, like, Series 2 and Series 1 is definitely going to be more, uh, more expensive long term and hold more value. But still, they're not cheap boxes to get an update box. A Rosarena. I don't know how these Rosarena cards are going to turn out either. Because they don't say rookie debut on them. So it's like a rookie card. But it's definitely not his flagship rookie. Because that was in a Cardinals uniform. And it was in Series 1 with Tops. What's up, John's Arcade? How you doing, man? There's a Cal Ripken. It's going to be a home run derby Cal Ripken. I'm kind of worried that these dogs are going to... Don't give me ads during this. I don't like that at all. Sure, is there Granky? Chapman, Holland, Rizzo. <clears throat> There's a Lux. All right. Lux and a Bichette so far. Bichette's the guy I want to pull. Um, you can get Lewis Robert autographs out of here, I've, so, I've noticed. That's kind of cool. Haggerty. Vilar. Is it Vilar or VR? Because in Spanish, it's like VR. Taylor. Jesus Lazardo rainbow foil. That's not a bad rookie to get in a rainbow foil. Set that down in my sleeve pile. All right, still got two more hits waiting on. See what we can find here. I think I'm just going to open this one today and save the other box for another day. 2020 Tops was a bit of a disappointment period. I, I tend to agree with you. Did any of you guys get the uh, Tops UK box, 2020 UK? I went and got one of those. Um, so hopefully when that comes in, I'm going to do a video on it. I don't know, man. I kind of want to hold on to it rather than open it. There's a Kyle Lewis. Nice. I should have bought more than one box so that I could open one on the channel. But maybe I'll just open it for funsies. Um, it's supposed to be like all the best rookies of Series 1 and Series 2, so there's going to be a Lewis Robert in it. I'd really like to pull the UK version of that. Lewis Robert is, uh, or the that print is very short printed. I think there was only like 8,300 cases or something. So there's not a whole lot out there. Gold card. <clears throat> Kevin Plawecki goes in the sleeve pile. So do these gold foils. I really do like the gold foils. That's a Clayton Kershaw gold foil. That's kind of cool. All-star game. My favorite product from this year has got to be Topps Triple thread Threads. I think that Topps did a phenomenal job with Triple Threads. However, I didn't have any incredible hits. I think, well, I mean, one of them, one of them was pretty good. I got a Juan Soto um, autograph relic. So that was, I was pretty happy about that. Uh, that was definitely my best hit. But I've seen so many people open up one box and get, you know, a book card. I saw somebody pull a Mike Trout, um, like, bat knob out of there. I'm like, my goodness. Talk about a legit pull. Peacock. There's a Nick Solak. Put that in the sleeve pile. <laughs> Tyler White. Yadier Molina. 
Chris Iannetta used to be with the Rockets. There's a Nico Horner. We'll put that in the sleeve pile as well. Rodriguez, Agrizal. But I would really like to find the uh, SSP of... There we go. Oh, it's a, it's a Major League Materials relic and autograph. That's kind of cool. So that's going to be your autograph in this one. It's going to be a relic and auto. Anytime you can double up on them, that's sweet. So you're going to have another relic in here. Unless we have an extra auto, which I kind of doubt. But... Or, uh, yeah, you're probably just going to get another relic. But that's going to be numbered to 50 for a Sunny Gray from Cincinnati Reds. Congratulations, Matt. That's a nice one to pull. Sunny Gray's a good name. I'm generally not in favor of pulling pitchers, but something numbered to 50? Show Boygan. Let's get that the bomb. Boom, baby. All right, we'll go ahead and put that on our stand back here so we can see it. What was your favorite product from the year, JDLS? I'm not a huge uh, Panini fan either, and so Panini has been kind of a disappointment. Um, and this year, because Tops was so bad, uh, Panini started to look a lot more desirable to me and started to appear a lot better. So I'm not saying I'll switch over completely to Panini or anything, but... <clears throat> Definitely like the cards more, especially NT. You get a book card in every single NT box, which is awesome. They say you're only supposed to get like eight cards, seven or eight cards. I, I'm almost every box I've seen open has nine cards in it. So, keeping us on our toes there, Panini. That's nice of you, you know, hooking us up. Cuthbert. Yeah, I was hoping that they'd have like a... Lewis Robert update, uh, rookie debut in here, but that's not going to happen. There we go, Alex Wood to 300. Alex Wood from the Dodgers to 300. Put that in our sleeve pile. Gallegos, Lou Brock, Dwight Gooden, and Casey Mize. He's a nice one to pull. Yeah, I really do like Topps Chrome. That's generally my favorite product every year. In fact, I liked it this year a lot also. Um, it would probably come in number two for me just because the Topps Triple Threads was so high-end and such a cool product, and I was able to get it for relatively cheap, so I was pretty happy. But I was getting boxes for 250 for my local LCS. Local LCS. It's kind of a bit redundant, isn't it? Sean Murphy. Jesus Lizardo. There's a Kyle Lewis. Rookie update. I'd like to see how these updates hold uh, hold value because Tatis's update cards, man, they went up quite a bit. Like I was really surprised at how much there was. This looks like a short print to me, but I think it's not. Yeah, it's 88. It's normal. And then the other thing is that they have like these backs are flipped around all the time, so it makes it really confusing. If you like try to collect the whole set and sleeve them all like you normally do. There we go. It's a Chris Sale relic card. Chris Sale. It's a much better one than getting a, a relic that is a manufactured patch or anything, but it's just plain white. It's from the All-Star Game. American League. Chris Sale. Congratulations. Not big into baseball. What are you into? I have a lot of uh, basketball that I just bought. I think I bought 10 packs of Chronicles basket or uh, not Chronicles, Starling Marte, of uh, Contenders basketball fat packs. So the fat packs of Contenders are pretty sweet, but I'm not sure they're going to have the same value as last year's. Just guys that you have to sit on and wait and see if they're going to pan out. It's Contenders Draft Picks, I think. Yeah, Draft Picks. So you just got to see if they're going to pan out. Ah, football. So is that what you collect most, is football cards? Tuki Toussaint. 
Still looking for a short print out of this box. I hope we get a big one. Lou Bob would be nice. Hey, man, my Broncos, they just played terribly today. Another Nico Horner that'll go in the sleeve pile. Oh, and you're getting an extra relic in here. Well, how about that? You're going to get a Mike Trout relic, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy cow. An extra relic in this box. Woo, baby. Sheboygan. Anything you can pull from Mike Trout is worth pulling. Mike Trout, what a beaut. Wish that one was numbered. That'd be nice. Put it on our well, put it over there with the already sleep cards. <clears throat> Peter Lambert. Gold foil. What's up, Joey? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Jesus Lazardo, Brendan Davis. It's good to see you, my friend. Collect graded money and raw gold. Nice. I have some a little bit of raw gold, and I have uh, no graded money, but I have quite a massive coin collection and a bunch of um, bills from, like, the uh, Confederate and Civil War. Confederate bills are uh, not really worth nearly as much as they were back then. A $50 Confederate bill I have is not even worth 50 bucks U.S. Not backed by anything. However, if you get a... Uh, like a uh, 10 cent piece, because they stopped using metal during the war to uh, conserve metal for the war effort. And so they started printing like fractional currency on bills. And so I have a paper, there's a Ken Griffey. I have a paper 10 cent piece that's like 50 bucks, probably, maybe more than that now. Another Mike Trout, Los Angeles Angels. What is that? The uh, active. Uh, RBI leaders? Actor leaders in war. Okay. That's not an 80. So hopefully this we get a short print in our last one, but maybe they were just giving us an extra trout instead of a short print. Franco Cervelli. So we can only hope this last pack. Good luck, Matt, on your last pack here before the silver packs. Remember, we still have the silver packs. And you can get a Lewis Robert Robert rookie reprint out of those but there's also the Bo Bichette rookie, Gavin Lux, Jordan Alvarez. Um, I think it's like a 50 card checklist for the cloth cards. Josh Fuentes. It's Nolan Arenado's cousin. It's kind of cool to see family play together. Like having Ken Griffey Jr. and Sr. play, that was pretty cool to see. Votto, my goodness, stop flipping these around, making it so difficult. Allen, Kershaw, Eric Davis, Joe Kelly, Baez, and we're going to have another one flipped around here, so it's going to be to 2020, JT Riddle. So in lieu of a short print, they gave you that Mike, uh, Mike Trout relic, it looks like. Brian Johnson. Jeter, Colfax, and Mackenzie Gore. All right, now for the uh, the fire packs, my favorite ones. I love these things, man. <clears throat> Silver packs are the way to go. We'll get all of those cards sleeved up for you. We have a little hit recap to go through here in a minute. Wow, you got four relics out of that box. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm only supposed to get two. But one of them was an autograph, so that's nice. Wow, that's a lot to grade a coin. Shogo Akiyama, Dale Murphy, Josh Stoutmont, and Mookie Betts. What's up, Oliver? Good to see you. Yeah, the numismatic value of grading. There's going to be some color back there. That's blue. Steven Strasburg. Genesis Cabrera. There you go. And a Mariano Rivera. Nice. What is that, to 150? 
Yeah, it'll be numbered to 150 on the Mariano. Cool. Mariano Rivera. That's a nice pull right there. Sheboygan. A skate park at Sadly, California. Where is Sadly, California? And Shogo is not a bad rookie to get out of there. I mean, this overall, this wasn't a terrible box, you know, having uh, the extra hit in there. That was kind of nice. And it's going to be a Juan Soto. That's nice. That's a cool-looking one. I, I think these look so cool. I really like them. you got to make sure you protect them, too. So, Oh, I will open it li live, Oliver. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I, uh, I love having stuff to open live. We're going to get this in a sleeve yet. There we go. Protect the booger. Juan Soto. Man, I like these. I would like to collect the whole set of these cloth ones. That would be sweet. But alas, my boxes, I pulled an Alex Bragman and... Uh, I don't remember who else. Chris Bryant. That's who it was. Alex Bregman, Chris Bryant. So the Lux I was happy about, but the Alex Bregman and Chris Bryant, not so much. All right, well, let's open the other box, huh? Why not? Let's go through a little hits recap, and we'll open the other box, because I've only been live for 20 minutes. Sonny Gray, Relic and Autograph. We'll get that put in a top loader for you. Mariano Rivera, Mike Trout, Relic, Chris Sale, Relic, Mark Teixeira, Relic Manufactured, and David Wright to 50. So that one's nice. I guess that, they probably consider that your short print, maybe. I don't know. You're supposed to get one short print in every box. That's kind of what I've noticed. Been the average. Colorado home having issues. Sadly, California. Never heard of it. But sadly, California. Sadly, you're back in California. Maybe that's what you're referring to. Because that's how I feel. California, man. I don't want to... I don't ever want to live in California again. I moved out there for like six months and absolutely hated it it was terrible yeah not too shabby of a box compared to mine that was way better that's for sure mine had nothing good in it but you got extra hit you got a card number to 50 plus you got a hit in the silver pack at least a color some color in the silver pack hoping you can get uh you know something better in these other silver packs. I'd like to get an auto out of one of the silver packs. Notice it's about 1 in 20 on the silver packs that you get an auto. So, who knows? We'll see. Yeah, sadly in California. I gotcha. Alright, box number 2 for Matt. Thank you so much, Matt, for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. We're going to just kind of fly through again, look for the big rookies, and then move on. A Rosarena. All right. Right off the first pack. Nice Rosarena there. Yeah, I'm, I think those Rosarena cards you want to hold on to. I think those are going to be, you know, people didn't suspect him for all year, and he came out of the woodwork and had the best rookie performance in the playoffs ever. I mean, the guy was phenomenal. <laughs> Sorry, my dog started going crazy. 77 and windy and very nice. It's super windy here, man. It's been windy all day. Snow. Bo Bichette. Nice Bo Bichette right there. Yes, thank you for sponsoring the video, Matt. David Ortiz. That's going to be numbered to 299, decades best. Got a numbered card out of the very first pack as well. David Ortiz. Put that in our numbered pile. Jairo Diaz, Rainbow Foil. I know you're a Rockies fan, so there you go. Jairo Diaz, Rainbow Foil. Javier Baez, Baltimore Orioles, and Kybert Ruiz. I love these 89 tops designs for the top prospect of every team. So there's 30 of these cards in this set. And it's the number one prospect from every team. That's pretty cool. 
pretty cool. Oh, the pups are good, man. I uh, I had to get rid of my my sister's German Shepherd, so I rehomed it yesterday. So I'm feeling a little sad about that because I didn't want to really rehome the dog, but I can't have three dogs in my small little place. And my sister is uh, not able to take care of it. There's a Kyle Lewis rookie. Man, you're gonna have a, a ton of rookies here that uh, look at rookie debuts to be able to sit on. And hope for something big. Cal Ripken Jr. Kyle Wright. So we rehomed it yesterday. It went with a nice hippie couple. Lived out in the flats. And hopefully they took, they'll take good care of her. But, you know, it's not my responsibility to follow up and watch and make sure she's being taken care of in the right way. So, all right. So you're going to get another Derek Jeter, as you do, of uh, one in every box. This one's got a gold uh, relic, though. So it's a little bit different. I pulled one of these number to 50 or 25 maybe the other day. So, you know, if you're going to get a relic, you'd kind of want it numbered. But also, if I'm going to get one of these relics, I want one that's got the gold on it because it looks a little nicer. And I don't mind the cloth relics so much. I think they look kind of cool. Um, however, I still think they're not worth putting in a product like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wanted to rehome it, so... Um, you know, this couple was, seemed like they were getting off their feet and like actually starting to make something themselves. They were uh, a couple that had been train hopping for a long time. <laughs> and so now they actually have some land and are, um, building a house out there. So I really hope she's in good hands, but yeah, I can't do anything about it. <clears throat> the other two though are getting along really well. That was one of the other reasons I had to get rid of her. She did not like the dogs at all. In fact, she bit Mac, the new Dalmatian puppy, and drew blood on his face. And I was like, eh, this is not probably going to work. She keeps snapping at dogs that come across or cross her the wrong way. So a little unfortunate. Jordan Alvarez. I expect him to come back and be, have a monster season next year. Uh, all pending injuries, though. Eric Mejia. Put that in a sleeve pile. Thurman Munson, Derek Jeter, and Cabrian Hayes. Got three dog man. I got two. And three was just too much. But if you've got a nice big home or a lot of land, you know, having three dogs is awesome. However, I don't know. It seems like two of them would get along and always kind of push the third out, maybe. Unless they run as a, a pack. I don't know. I've never had three dogs. I've never had two dogs. This is the first time I've I've really expanded to two dogs. But with Gunner being so high energy and hyperactive, they play super well together and get all their energy out. Makes it easy on me, but I'm probably getting fat now because I'm not, uh, I don't have to continue taking them to the park or anything. I was just that one flipped around. 88, still not an SP or an SSP. We're going to find one, though. We're going to find one. Will it be the lube rob? Who knows? Nine chickens, one rabbit. I'd love to have chickens, man. Zach Granke, active leaders. That's going to be a gold card. We'll get that one sleeved up. Nice. Josh Taylor, rookie foil. Or a gold foil. Rookie. Willie McCovey, Clark Schmidt, Warren Spann. I want chickens and one dairy cow. That'd be nice. Price, trout. Another trout. Boy, they really pack this full of trouts. Anytime you get a numbered trout or a relic trout, yeah, that's good. That's good news right there. Nice pull on that trout relic. You gotta, yeah, you gotta, uh, look at that, it's three Rockies in a row. Butera, Sensatella, and Owings. You really got to, uh, and then another one right after Philip Deal. <laughs> it's like a run of Rockies right there. Yeah, there's there's some cool looking cards, but you know, 2020, the checklist was all soaked up in Series 1 and Series 2. And even Series 2 didn't have a great checklist. It just is carrying value because of the Lewis Robert. What's up, the hobbyist? How you doing, man? 
I stopped into your stream the other day. Um, couldn't talk because I was driving, but Nico Horner. Agrizal. Here we go. Sean Manea. Sean Manea. Boy, our autos out of this have just been rough. Sonny Gray was probably the best auto we've pulled out of this entire product. Or out of the, the all, man, six boxes. This is box number five. So here's my guess is that I'm going to send that other box to Matt and it's going to be just unbelievably good. <laughs> I can only hope. He tastes great. Yeah, I'd like a dairy cow. Sean Manea, not numbered or anything, but that's a Baseball Stars autograph. So that's your auto out of there. I would say not the greatest auto you could pull. Greg Holland, Shogo Akiyama, Ripken Jr., Bobby Dahlbeck. That Sonny Gray was, was pretty nice, but the rest of them not so much. There's the cow last year. He tastes great. Mmm, steak. I mean... A dairy cow doesn't make good meat, right? Is that true? I don't know. I don't know much about cows. There's a Trent Grisham. We'll put that in a sleep pile. I just don't know if they make good meat. Um, why are there separate cows? You got dairy cows and you got beef cattle. Raised in different ways, I'm assuming. Wow. That's awesome, man. Two and a half miles and 8% grade uh, for my daughter's black belt training. I'm a beast. That's great, man. I used to run a lot back and then I ran a few races. I uh, ran the Boulder Boulder. It's like a race here in Colorado with thousands of people. That was a super fun race. They have like beer and uh, like sh jello shots on the side and they just give them to you as you're running by and food it's just like a party the entire run it's pretty cool you're running through a college town so all these college kids are like kager tops probably has to make one box or one case that's just absolute crap out of every like I don't know 10 cases or something can't make them all good but this was this was rough 48 minutes huh number to 88 nice yeah the let's see the uh, boulder boulder was a 10k so is that six point I don't know, 6.4 miles, I think. And I finished that in just under an hour. It was like 58 minutes. Nick Solak, that'll go in the sleeve pile. But I haven't ran in years, man. I tried to go running maybe, I don't know, probably beginning of the year. And, oh, I was exhausted. It was just so rough. Decade's best, Los Angeles Dodgers with the blue... So it's a blue peril. Nolan Arenado foil. Nice. All-star game. Rainbow foil. Put that in the sleeve pile also. Nolan Jones. So you can get some good stuff out of here, but... You know... You gotta kind of piece it all together to get your money back. Especially us. I, this was the, the biggest mistake I made this year in this purchase. I told Matt that we needed to buy this case ahead of time. You know, we got to make sure that we're getting cases out of, out uh, ahead of time so that we uh, actually have, you know, a good price on it. And we bought it and like a week later the price dropped. And I was like, Ugh, are you kidding me? And everybody's anticipating. I think it was like we heard that Adele and Pache were not going to be rookies in this right after I bought it and the price dropped. And I was like, oh, come on. That's rough. Yeah, congratulations, The Hobbyist. That's awesome, man. Another run of Rockies there. CJ Corbin. We already got our, our uh, Derek Jeter relic, so we're looking for another relic here. 
or a case hit. That would be nice. There we go. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper from the Washington Nationals. A big name for the, uh, the Relic, finally. Not a huge name, but a big enough name. I'm going to cut the sleeve this time. Make it easier to put it in there. And I think Bryce Harper car cards are going to come back up. I really do. Just wait for him to have one more phenomenal season and we're going to see his cards come back up. Congratulations, Matt. That's a nice one. Bryce Harper relic there. Gold foil. Robert Stevenson. Pete Alonzo. Votto. Evan White. There's 300 cards in the set, John. Yeah. There you go, the hobbyist. Sorry, I didn't see that. 300 card set, which seems a little big for being such a weak checklist. Although they did throw in a lot of veteran and retired veteran players, which is pretty cool. However, you know, cards don't hold a whole lot of value. The veteran and retired veteran players just don't hold nearly as much value as you'd think. Um, it's, it's just a wild market to me when you can have... Like a Ted Williams cut autograph, sell for number to five. I sold mine for 850 bucks, right? But you can sell a rookie auto number to five for three to five times that much, just depending on which rookie it is. I'm like, man, the speculation is kind of wild in this hobby. It's too much for me. Mike Montgomery. 88. Still no SP or SSP. Josh Young. So many cards. Well, there's, you get what, three or four inserts, insert cards per. So, yeah, I would probably just buy a completed set. That'd probably be the best way to go. Collecting it, I don't know, I have... A complete set of all of them that I've collected, Series 1 and Series 2, and now I'm sure that I've got enough for the whole set of update. Three boxes of Jumbo. Whatever I'm missing will probably be very few cards. Although I'm generally surprised. I open a bunch and I go through and put them in my book and uh, my binder and I realize, oh, I'm missing, I don't know, 25, 35 cards, maybe 50 cards continually surprises me how much you have to open. There you go. Logan Morgan Morrison. Gold from the Brewers. Jesus Tinoco. So, man, I think you got like three three Rockies that are in either gold gold foil or rainbow foil. That, that would be a nice set to collect. All the Rockies in gold or rainbow foil. That'd be sweet. Um, this needs to go into a sleeve pile over here. All right, to the silver packs, the money makers. What's up, Case Cards? How you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. First, let's do our cloth card. What can we get out of here? Please don't be a Bregman like I had. There you go, Mookie Betts. That's a nice one to pull. Mookie. Man, he had a great season, didn't he? The Dodgers are a completely different team with Mookie. You have a World Series champion right there. Sleeve that up so it doesn't snag on anything. That's why you sleeve it up. So it doesn't snag on anything. Lunch break. Nice. Coming back to our lunch breaks live. Our last year of Nolan in a Rocks uniform likely. Dude, you're probably right. Jonathan Daza, Rockies. These Mojo refractors are just, man, they just look so good. My favorite. Tommy Edmond. Bruce Dark Redderall. Another World Series champion rookie right there. Yeah, I don't I don't think Nolan's gonna be in a uh, Rockies uniform anymore. So maybe this I mean a lot of people like to collect first and last. I, they haven't done any that I've seen, no, the cloth cards. I really like them though as well. Mariano Rivera and Bo Bichette, sweet. All right, we'll take that rookie. Still no auto out of the silver packs. I think I've picked the five worst boxes to open on camera. I bet you anything that Matt's final box is going to be fire. Because we still haven't gotten the case hit. 
So no case hit. It's got to be in the last box. So Matt, you have a nice box to open coming your way. Enjoy that, my friend. Oh, wow. All right, let's do a little hits recap here. There we go. Okay, out of this box, we got the Bo Bichette Rookie Mojo Refractor. Love that. Mookie Betts Cloth Card. Very cool. Sean Manea. We have a Bryce Harper Relic and a Derek Jeter Relic. Let's do the uh, other box as well and show you what we got out of that. This is the Juan Soto cloth. We got the uh, Sunny Gray. Are you sure you don't want to open that, Matt? I appreciate that. I'll uh, open his other box. He just sent me a text saying I could open his other box. But this box was pretty good. Mariano Rivera, Mike Trout, Chris Sale, the Mark Teixeira, Derek Jeter. I, this is so weird. They have the Jer Derek Jeter relic, but they have Mark Teixeira on the bottom. Ichiro or something, so... I found a Jeter on Jeter one the other day. That was kind of nice. But yeah, this is the first time I've seen the cloth cards, and I really, really like the cloth cards. I think they're really nice looking. All right, let's open it. Matt confirmed. We are all good. Yeah, I hope there's fire in this box because my three were terrible. You had one of two were good, I would say. That sunny gray one was not bad. Number to 50, that's pretty good. We still need to get a, a nice SP out of I only pulled two SPs out of the other ones. However, the Cal Ripken SP was nice. Like I said, that did sell. Um, and then I pulled an Acuna. It was actually the Cal Ripken SSP and an Acuna SP. All right, let's get some good stuff, he says. Yes, Matt, we will try for you, my friend. I am praying that I can pull you the fire today. Because if not, this was, I don't know, big mistake buying this product. Probably won't do it again unless I really know the checklist. So I won't do it nearly as much in advance. I'm going to wait a lot longer. You know, we made a good purchase because we bought a case of Topps Chrome when it was like $1,000 less than it ended up selling for on release day. So, at least on this one, we only lost 300 bucks or 150 a piece. We made it back in the other one. Mike Montgomery, that's going to be numbered to 300. Mike Montgomery. Let's sleeve it up right away. Jacob DeGrom, rainbow foil. The Degrominator probably had one of the best. Uh, ooh, Christian Pache, nice. Probably pitched uh, better than most in the league this year. Jacob Degrom he had a phenomenal season. Yeah, I don't know if you could grade the the cloth cards. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I really have no clue. Um. I was listening to Jabs the other day, and he was saying something that I had already thought about, like making a blanket out of the entire set. That'd be kind of cool. Get them all and sew them all together, or have like a quilt made out of the patches, cloth patches. That'd be sweet. So many of these become doubles after a while that you're just like, oh my goodness, the monotony. Turley. Can you wash the cloth cards? <laughs> I have no clue, man. I wouldn't really want to. Derek Jeter on Derek Jeter. That one's a Jeter relic. Did we already pull that exact Jeter relic? No, it was a different one. So at least you're not getting the same. 2010 Jeter and 2013 Jeter. Once again, I'm going to loudly claim my dislike for tops putting these in as a hit in a jumbo box be better tops be better you gotta give us some better stuff than that disappointing ronald acuna ortiz colton welker i accidentally picked up that montgomery it's already sleeved i'll put it in the already sleeved box you wash them they like come out with no color on them completely white all bleached out 
Tommy Pham. Haven't had any big rookies out of this box yet. Frazier. The induction ceremony for Jeter. I don't remember one. They, they've done this a few times now. Butera, Sensatella, and Owings. So we had three Rockies in a row. And then a Baltimore Oriole in between. And another, their collation is pretty subpar. It's cool they put Mark McGuire in here. Put Cal Ripken, Mark McGuire, um, Eric Davis. A lot of guys that uh, all-star game or home run derby. There's a Nick Solak. Had a really good season there. Yeah, I don't think they had an induction ceremony. Ionetta, former Rock, and Nico Horner. Agrizal, Luis Severino, Rainbow Foil. Lewis Robert, there we go. Finally, this Lewis Robert insert is elusive. But uh, it's got the 35-year anniversary stamp on it. Luba, baby. Sheboygan. I'll give a little little bomb. It's not a massive hit or anything, but anytime I pull Lewis Robert. Cabrera. Boom, baby. Aquino. Ortiz. Jerko. Kenley Jansen. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. There's quite a few different juniors in here. The uh, home run derby from several years. There's a Cal Ripken All Star game. Man, he was a good good third baseman. Probably the only third baseman I would say was. Uh, well, there might have been one other third baseman that was better than Aaron Otto. Arenado is the best dirt defensive third baseman I think I have ever seen play. I didn't watch Cal Ripken a whole lot, so there's another Bryce Harper. Gold Bryce Harper. Goes into our sleeve pile. Chris Martin. Jordan Alvarez. You're getting some nice rookies in these, uh, these inserts here. Lewis Robert and Jordan Alvarez in the inserts. Take that any day. Lou Bob. I think the Lou Bob has been replaced by Erosarania forever. Uh, don't bring that bad juju in here, Jamie. I bought way too well, not bought way too many. I uh, I did probably buy way too many series two. There's a Randy Erosarania. Just talking about you, fella. So I have so much uh, Lewis Robert that I got out of series two. Most of it's in getting graded, and I can only hope that he turns out to be phenomenal. I also have a couple of autos of his, and I do have one Arosarania auto. So, and I actually went through and found a bunch of Arosarania and Topps Chrome and um, some Series One. So, I've got I've got some. But uh, anyways, uh, back to the Arenado conversation. It was definitely. You know, there's probably two players, Cal Ripken and Mike Schmidt. Yeah, those were the two third basemen that were phenomenal. Congratulations, you got a Max Kepler autograph. I am going to write a strongly worded letter to Tops. I mean, Max Kepler's not a bad name to pull, but I mean, what was our best autograph writer? Sonny Gray? <laughs> and where's our case hit? Do they consider that Sunny Gray the case hit because it was an auto relic? If they do, that's some BS. I'm not happy about that. Acuna. Tsutsugo! I love saying his name. Yoshi Tsutsugo. Put him in the sleep pile too. Sugo's a up and comer as well. Another Ken Griffey there. Fuentes, the brother of Arenado. Matt, I really appreciate you letting us do this. Sorry that uh, update isn't a better set. Update's really 
bumming me out, man. This is the only case of update I'm buying, and I will not be buying any retail. Zero. None. This is it. This is it. I know, not every case can be fire, but this was Descalso. No SP. Kenyon Middleton. Eddie Murray, Forrest Whitley. Watch, we're going to open one of the silver packs, and it's going to be like a Lewis Robert, uh, like a one of one. Start putting some fire in the chat. we got to get some luck going on here. This this just ain't working for us. If we pulled a uh, Super Fractor of Lou Bob, whoo, whoo, that would be swanky. I did see one Super Fractor pulled already, but it wasn't anybody that I knew too well. But anytime a Super Fractor's pulled, it's pretty sweet. 101. Zach Davis. Poo Holes. I think Allen and Ginter Chrome's going to look awesome. I'm glad that they're doing an Allen, Allen and Ginter Chrome, to be honest with you. Bobby Dahlbeck, number to 299. That's a cool. Wow, they put these ones numbered as. Uh, see, they consider these your short print. Which I think is a little ridiculous, but it's a numbered Bobby Dahlbeck from the 89 design tops. That's really pretty cool. I didn't know that they were, I mean, I assume they were, obviously, that they had to number these. Boom, baby! <laughs> you say that like I can find anything in retail. That's probably one some of the reason I'm not going to be buying any. Tim Raines from the Expos and Joey Bart. Just don't want Chrome Hay or Farmer. <laughs> I don't know, man. Some people like those wacky off the wall cards. Um, you know, I don't want to get like a lump of coal or whatever they have. They got minerals. There's another Randy. You know, if you hold on to these Randys, you might might be able to get quite a bit at some point. Randy is huge. Anytime it's upside down, I'm going to start checking. Because if they throw a short print in where I can't see it, then tricky little bastards. Greg Allen, Pete Alonzo. You know, to get like a gold lump of coal or lump of gold or a gold nugget, I think. Yeah, gold nugget, nugget and chrome. That'd be kind of ridiculous. Try to feel the backs of these as you're going through also because you could have the Topps logo up here that's the vintage and it'll be on vintage stock. Aristides Aquino. So this is somebody we are going to hope is turning it around at some point. He's an older rookie, but my goodness. I got to be honest with you. I'm, uh, I'm not happy. I like Aristides Aquino, but I, you know, his stock has dropped so much value-wise. Rowdy Telez, David Ortiz. They must consider that that Sunny Gray to be the box or the case hit. They have to. Unless it's in one of these last two packs. A Randy a Rosarania movie in production. About what? Like a Rosarania's rise to the big leagues? Chapman, Holland, Rizzo. There's a Lux. Pujols, Wheeler, Houston. Man, ever since I started making content again, like it's been so hard to pick up steam like I had in the back in the day. Uh, most of my success back then was fueled mostly by the alcohol. About six months of sobriety. Feeling good. Bo Bichette. Alex Bregman, Alex Blandino, AJ Puck, Derek Jeter, Cito Sanchez. He's going to be good. Cito Sanchez is going to be good. Last pack. So the Sunny Gray is the case hit, huh? Wow. 
boy, they could have, they knew that this checklist was weak and, and Tops really could have made it up to us in some ways. And they, I think they fell short in that. Boba Fett. Dustin Garneau. Yordan. Every single one of those rookies adds up. Judge. Kimbrell. I know, find my groove again, huh? Rowdy Telez. That's a gold. Kyle Ryan. Bo Bichette. Boy, at least these uh, inserts were pretty good for the rookies. Got some nice ones. Bo Bichette. 85 design. All right, let's go to the Moneymaker cards. Great googly moogly. All right, good luck, Matt, on the silver packs. Let's do your cloth one first. Yeah, Tops did let us down. I agree with you, man. This was this was subpar on Tops' behalf. Yeah, there you go, Jordan Alvarez, rookie. You're able to get one good rookie out of here, baby. Sweet. I agree. Joe Adele should be an update. I agree with you on that. That's a nice rookie right there. Jordan Alvarez and the cloth. Those are such cool looking cards. All right, let's get a super fracture here. I called it earlier, and I'm standing by the call. Reese Hoskins. George Springer. Bobby Bradley. Roger Clemens. Don't worry, we still have a second pack. Let's go, fire. Let's go. We need to, like, give this some kind of a soak in a, like with a good card. I don't think I have anything around. Hinjin Ryu. Ravello. Seth Brown. Derek Jeter. This is horrible. Ugh. All right. My final thoughts about Tops Chrome or Tops Update for 2020. Tops Update for 2020 gets a one out of five, one, a, a 0.5 maybe. I'm gonna drop it to a 0.5 out of five. Horrible, horrible product. I don't even know what to say. Not, I'm not ever doing Tops update again uh, for this year, 2020. And I'm never buying. I'm never buying another Tops product until I know the checklist. I'm not doing it. A pre-order, not happening. I'm sorry, Matt. At least you got consolation prizes. Here's your consolation prizes: Jordan Alvarez rookie patch cloth card, Aristides Aquino. Major League Material Rookie. Bobby Dahlback, number to 299, Prospect Card. Jordan, Montgomery, and Derek Jeter. That was from this box. JDLS gives a 3 out of 10. 10's too high. I gotta just do 5. 3 out of 10. So uh, yeah, I'll give it a 1 out of 10 then. If it's a .5 out of 5, that would be a 1 out of 10. Silver packs, I would give the silver packs, you know, probably a four out of five. I love the silver packs, maybe a five out of five. But I got to be honest, that's just, it's just one of the worst products I've ever opened. I apologize. 
Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm a little bummed right now. It's ta like taking the wind out of my sails opening that product. It's taking the wind out. I got to go buy me like a triple threads or something to get my, my spirits back up. All right, that's going to do it for tonight. I don't want to leave on a bad note, but I have to. I got no other options. I got nothing else to open, so... Appreciate you guys stopping by. Once again, I apologize for how rough this opening was. Thank you, Matt, for letting us do this. Um, sorry for my recommendation. Don't ever listen to my recommendation again. This was bad. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Glad to hear, Jamie. Oh, man, that was horrible.